Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. Today we're going to check out the call to reference that can be included in hyperlinks to allow users to click and call numbers on their computer. To put the call to reference into perspective, let's firstly check out a more commonly used third party application that you should already be familiar with, mail to. The mail to reference allows web designers to link email addresses, text or even images, launching the computer's default mail application and automatically creating a new message addressed to the predefined email address. The call to reference works in the same principle, allowing web designers to link telephone numbers, launching the computer's default voice over IP application like Skype. Let's show you what we mean. So this is one of our recently developed websites for a company called InfoExchange. And you can see in the header there's a real text telephone number and we've wrapped this with the call to link. And you see if you hover your mouse over it, we've also added a title, call us now. And also more interesting, if you look in the bottom left corner, you can see the call to and the telephone number, very similar to how the email address one works. And if the user clicks the telephone number, you'll see that it automatically prompts us to launch Skype so that we can, can uh, proceed to make the call. With more and more users starting to use voice over IP applications like Skype, wrapping phone numbers with this call to link can make websites more user friendly and really encourage inquiries. The advantages of wrapping phone numbers with this link doesn't end there. There's also an additional advantage for users browsing on mobile devices. So if you've got an iPhone, you're probably familiar with the way that the mobile version of Safari can auto-detect telephone numbers and it adds a hyperlink to them and allows you to call the number from the telephone. Now the, two, the call to tag can also be used to simulate this, uh, this method. You can use it to wrap around other text, or in this case, uh, we've got the telephone number in the top right corner that's saved as an image. That telephone number is then wrapped in the call to tag, calling the telephone number, and allows us to also call the number from the phone with a, with a click. If you choose to use this call to link technique, it's important to consider that users will need to have an appropriate voice over IP client installed for the link to work. Taking that into consideration, we'd recommend not making your call to links too obvious. Those who use programs like Skype should try clicking on phone numbers to see if they initiate a call. Thanks for watching this week. Don't forget to leave any comments or questions on the supporting blog posts or on our YouTube channel.